Welcome to Walking in Kingdom Secrets with Reverend Femi Akinola, the Apostle of Mystery, as he unveils the mysteries in the Word of God. Let me see your hand as I pray for you. Anybody here that they have fired your hand or your life with a devouring arrow, I command the arrow to jump out and never to return in the name of Jesus. Now you know that an arrow is an injurious, very dangerous weapon. And I've taught you on Thursday that the one holding the weapon has the power. It is not the person with the strength. You might be so powerful, but when you don't have a weapon, there is a problem. Whatever you see in the physical, there is a spiritual equivalent. And the spiritual equivalent is greater, is bigger, more powerful than the physical equivalent. What and be blessed by his prophetic ministrations. Stay tuned. This is your time. God bless you. I'm not saying if anywhere safe from you. I say, oh Lord, hear my prayer. The Bible says they call Jabez a son of sorrow, a child of sorrow. Abi, but he did not stop praying. Even the people that they did not call child of sorrow, they were enjoying life. But he kept on praying. Because sorrow come here. Sorrow come here. Sorrow come here. But he did not stop praying. I said, oh Lord, if only you can enlarge my coast and change my story. Go and check Jabez built an estate and put all his brother there. Let me put something in your hand. Where is your prophetic hand? As you pray today, what they don't have in your family for good, God will drop it in your hand. dancing to money God did what answer our prayer God will answer your prayer how does God turn her dancing to money number two God remember her first Samuel chapter 1 verse 19 to 20 the Bible says and the Lord remembered her a man of God will ask me say sir how does it mean that God forget I say no God does not forget the meaning of God, remember, is that God turned his face to your side. That means it's your turn. Shall we pray together here? Let me see your prophetic hand. Today is turning point Sunday. We came to pray. Say, oh Lord, remember me. Say, let God here. Say, oh Lord, remember me. Say it again. Say, oh Lord, remember me. How will, will you know that God does remember you? That thing that is making you to cry, you will not cry over them again in the name of Jesus. Number three, I'm still under number one no, that God turned her that morning into dancing. So, how and what did, happens when God turns your life around, or when you get to the turning point, it turns your morning to dancing? How? He answers your prayers, He remembers you. And what will happen again? Number three, he gives you something great. Ah, only one person claim it quickly. He will give you something great. Hmm. Now, everybody look at me. For the fact that you have been waiting, sir, for, God, for a particular thing, don't change your prayer the Lord. Give me anything. You know I said now? No, say, Lord, just give me a child. Never. When God wanted to start with my family and I needed to come to church and you know there used to be a taxi man that used to carry me and when he carries me I give him good money and I remember somebody close to me said let us buy his motto from him and I said no I don't want this kind of what she call a car God is going to give me a big car God is going to give me what car? big car <laughs> Benny I don't pray for something small. I want to quickly pray for you if you have changed your prayer because you have waited for a long time. Every form of unbelief in your life, I cast them out now in the name of Jesus. I, can, I won't take it from you. What is bigger than your age, the Lord will give to you in the name of Jesus. But the Lord wants to start with me. He gave me a car like a Jeep, a Mitsubishi. And we're praying one day, the Lord said, I should give it out, we give it out. And the next one that will come after that was Land Cruiser. Damn finicking one. Land Cruiser. When I go to pastor's conference with it, the way I pull out of my car, they say, how can you start life with Land Cruiser? Now you be God. 
let me put something in your hand if you are ready what will make people to serve your God by force the Lord will put it in your hand in the name of Jesus Christ okay let me pray another one for you if you can handle it what will make people to like you by force though they don't like your face before God will do it in your life in the name of Jesus and Hannah was praying she didn't pray Lord just give me any child no he said Lord give me a quality son and I will give him back to you he said no don't give me any just give me any child mm. just give me a girl even if it's a girl just any boy go back here yapata just give me a stubborn boy no he said lord give me something that is so pleasant that i can present back to you from now on i want you to know stop asking for little little things see i hear you I hear you sir. I say, hey, sir i just want any job uh, i said no rephrase it again say something big i want big job Lift up your hand and pray with me. We are in turning point service. Say, Lord, give me something big. God, say it again. Let him hear you loud and clear. Why? The Bible says bread is for the children and crumbs are for the what? For the dogs. Stop asking for crumbs. Let me put a prayer in your hand now. Are you ready? From now on, you will not eat crumbs. What kind of woman is this now? Am I begging for him, man? From now on, I say you will not eat crumbs. God will give you the real bread. Now, let me go to number two. Don't forget I said number one. The first thing you experience that God turns your what? Morning to dance. The second thing that will happen is, now God turns right off. There are, there are some people, they say they are right off their situation people they say oh it's finished the god repair them there are accidents that when it happens you say oh this motto is gone no be so let me tell you a testimony that happened some time ago here i was sitting there doing counseling on a tuesday and husband and wife they are coming let me pray for all the men 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 no oh, real men let me see your hand i want to pray for real men May your wife never feed you. Men are not here, be no problem. I said, May your wife never feed you. As they were coming, as they said, Come, they were coming like that. And the woman was just coming. Oh, they're in leg. And I said, Good morning, man of God. At the verse, I hate proud women. The verse. I said, hey, Is he your younger brother? He said, No. I said, Is that your husband? Mm, that my mother, husband. She has written the man off because she was the one feeding him. If she buys him clothes, she buys him shoe, she buys him pants. And the man has lost his self esteem. The man was even shaking for her. He said, Motimbo, I felt like slapping and bossing him. When they sat down in anger, the way I do my mouth, I say, uh -huh. The man said, Oh, that's all wrong. The woman was telling the man, Talk now. I said, Madam, please, I don't like you. I don't like you. Can you please get out of here? Do you know what the man said? Ah, oh, that one. He said, please leave her alone. Do you know why? She will deal with him at home. And I quickly remember, I'm not going to be in the house with them. Let me have mercy on the man. So I said, what can I do for you? And the man said, actually, I, I have masters. Everything I do, I don't understand. Things are tough. I, I don't get it. And the woman said, Tell him how you are suffering. How I'm feeding you. And, I, and the Lord said to me, Son, I said, Now, he said, Tell this man 
that I will change his story. Tell this man that I will restore back his voice. He said, tell this man that he will feed the people feeding him. So I looked at him and said, oh God, on so-so day, get out of the house, go to so-so camp and pray there for 14 days. I said, when you finish there, go to another camp. I said, the third camp, I will not tell you until there you leave the house and I will text the camp to you so nobody will know. Nine months later, I was in my house. When they said, the man said, sir, can you please come out to the main road? I said, eh, you want to kidnap me? He said, no, I want to show you something. I came to the main road and I saw what this man put there. He said, this is what God has done. I said, where is your wife? He said, she's ashamed to come. I went around that motto. That motto cannot be lesser than 21 million. Excuse me, kill a follow me. What do you take God to be? He lifted the poor. And he made him to sit among the princes. And then, what do you call God? Do you think we want cheap or all the batala somewhere? Or you, see, or you think from, uh, from your village uh, uh, Jesus is too much I said how did it happen you want to start crying I said no no cry here we are on the road he said let me cry he said they have taken my voice I said have you got to the back he said eh I said ah, I can't see don't use it on me go and go your wife, to your wife this man did not give me money neither he gave me dollars I said why he said sir I am working in oil company. Oh yeah. He said, I am not working on land. I am working on the sea. I look here, I look here. He said, this kind of money is not outside. You used to give somebody. When I was praying on the motto, outside on the street, he knelt down. I said, why? He said, let them laugh me. I was praying. People on the road, they came to join us. Amen. 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 Ah, when we open our eyes, we were two that started prayer. We are now to 21. What happened? Hey! The turning point. The turning point. That will make people together. And thank God for your life. It will happen in the name of Jesus. Help me tell somebody. Don't write me off. My turning point has come. You didn't tell him. Tell him again. Don't write me off. Oh. My turning point has come. Tired of struggles? Or you've got nothing to show in your life? Join Reverend Femi Akeola in his prophetic anointing at the prophetic hour of solution every first Wednesday of the month. Venue, Sanctuary of Wonders Auditorium, number 2 Yinka for Lion Street by Ion Wale of Ijegu Road, Ikotu, Lagos. Time 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. It is your turn for a prophetic encounter. Leaders are readers and readers are frontliners. Your ability and capacity to lead is strongly determined by the kind of books you read. Grab a copy of Reverend Femi Akiola's books. Among his best selling books include owners and beggars in the pages of this book are principles that can guarantee success speed prosperity and real life if they are followed and practiced do you want to have an easy sail through life and achieve all your desires and goals without struggle then this book answers all your questions the hunter and the farmer this mini book is loaded with wisdom which has made masters out of servants. It's a timely compendium of life truths with cutting edge insight that can help you overcome servitude and become the boss you aspire to be in life. Take back your throne. This is a spiritual therapy book written and packaged under the guide of the Holy Spirit to usher in deliverance of nations and individuals alike. It is a compilation of prayer missiles with the capacity to demolish satanic strongholds in your life. Grab your copy now and let the author lead you through on how to ascend your God-ordained throne in life. Money Rain This is a compilation of classic sermons on finance that will change your financial life forever. This masterpiece Money Rain will teach you how to become wealthy, create wealth and also control wealth. 
Releasing stars in bondage. This book will deliver in your hands timely truths and insights that can help you break loose from the oppression of the taskmaster harassing your destiny. Your greatness and your battles. This book holds the potency to turn a victim to a victor. Your greatness and your battle is a product of a heart cry to help people lead victorious lives. In this book, you will discover different battles that surround your greatness and the divine strategies you can employ to guarantee your continuous winning in life. Devices In it, you will discover many areas of life where the enemy seeks to gain control over your destiny, marriage, ministry, and career, and the medium through which he wants to galvanize such captivity. To order for any of these books, visit www.thehebrewsng.com or call 081-825-43422 or 0805-237-7861. Everything you will need to save your generation. Where is your hand? Where is your hand? Receive it in the name of Jesus Christ. Connect with God for a life full of testimonies as you join Reverend Femi Akeola in a session of undiluted prophetic moves and prayers in the next I Testify program. Every first Thursday of the month, venue the Hebrews International Church, Okun Aja Junction by Abraham Adesanya Bus Stop, Lekki Aja, Lagos. Time 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. You shall testify. is a boy and it's seven years i'm waiting i hear praise praise is a boy and it's seven years are you praise it's your son come where is he is he here i talk people on holiday come come don't 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 just face me i want to tell you something face me you enter into a family called akuta Who is Akuta? Akuta is my husband. That's your husband family. Yes. You were searching in that place and you look for a man called Stanley. Yes, sir. I, am I right? Am I right? Yes, sir. And you gave birth to a boy, Chuwe, is uh, the Igbo. Praise God, dear. If you don't help me with the Igbo, the Igbo, oh, come here, no. It's colobing my mouth. You will bring the boy to me because I need to lay my hands on the boy. Now, because you are in the service today, any embargo they place on your life is hereby broken. Right away, the disappointment in marriage is over in your life. prophecy that you have three husbands is broken now in the name of Jesus Christ you are hereby delivered in the name of the Father in the name of the Son in the name of the Holy Spirit is the boy born in January January 26 good tell that boy for me that Femi Akiola loves him I want to see him he will be greater than his father the father will come back, but by the time you come back, it will be too late. But if he's watching me on right here now, let me hear. If oh god, did he marry you? Yes. Did he marry you? No, sir. Good, very good. God bless you. Go. I will not say anything. Again. Your mother's name is Mary. She died in March. Let me see you. I'm not talking much today. Church, let's continue the prayer. Your mother's name is Mary. She died in March. Not this year, March. Let me see you. I continue. Your mother's name is Mary? Yes, sir. Your mother's name is Mary? Yes, sir. Are you brothers? No. 
Okay, let's go deeper. Father, give me more. The next name of your mother is Iwadima. Yes, sir. Iwadima, stand here. Thank you, Jesus. You can't bamboozle me. I, I was sent to do something today. Where is that small girl that looks like your mother? She's at Enugu now. Who is she to you? She's my niece. She's your niece. Yes. Do people believe in reincarnation? <laughs> There's a problem here now. He said, yes, no, yes, no. You will send somebody and bring that girl to me. Okay, sir. I will not continue until I see that girl. She came on the same day she was my mom down. Yes. She came on the same day. I'm same afraid. On the same date, she came back. Your mother died around 7 something in the night. 7.45 p.m. Yeah. In the night. At my hands. Yeah. yeah, she died at my hands. She died in your hand? Yes. Nice woman. Yes. Good woman. Yes. You didn't have the opportunity to take care of her very well before she died. Now you want to make your way good. And everybody's looking at that girl as the mother. Yes. Don't destroy that girl's life. I want to see her. Okay, sir. I'm on camera. I'm going to say some things here because I don't want to confuse the world. Okay, sir. Can you bring her to me? I'll bring her to you. I'll be waiting. Beautiful, fair girl. Yes, sir. Pleasant girl. She does like an old woman. Yes, sir. I'm sending that spirit back to where it comes from. Yeah. Until I see her. Have a nice day. It's just God that is talking through me. So don't look at me. I'm, I'm not special. It's God. So don't look at me as anything. Hey, come here. You, that guy, shaking your head now. The other guy. You, yeah. Do you know you have a calling? Do you sing? Yes, sir. Do you sing? Come here. I want to talk to you. Your spirit was connected to my spirit. Uh uh. Do you go to the Apostolic Church? Yes, sir. Eh? And you sing sometimes you sing in event places. Be answering me, be answering me. Is your name Israel? Yes, sir. Are you born in October? Yes, sir. Are you born in October? Yes, sir. One and eight, making 18. Yes, sir. Benny. Stand here, I'm coming. Young man. Egbenu Samu. I just this microphone. Go the Samuel on lower. The hand of the Lord is upon you. The spirit of the Lord is where is Shola? She's she's in Lagos. She's presently in Lagos. Do you know who Shola is to you? Yes, sir. Is she the one you want to marry? Yes, sir. Are you surprised? Yes, sir. Is she fairer than you? Sure, yes. Sir. Nice heart. Nice babe. White teeth. When you break a heart, you break your life. You won't even do that because you are a child of God, aren't you? You better listen to me now. You might look rough, but you know what? God has created you polish. You have no choice that to serve God. I want your friends to all around there. You better begin to siphon and begin to sieve and begin to separate yourself from them. Court case is coming. You will escape it. Amen. Take care of Shola. She's a good girl tired of struggles or you've got nothing to show in your life join reverend femi Aki online his prophetic anointing at the prophetic hour of solution every first wednesday of the month venue sanctuary of wonders auditorium number two yinka for lion street by iron wale of ijegu road ikotu lagos time 7 a.m to 9 a.m it is your turn for a prophetic encounter Leaders are readers and readers are frontliners. Your ability and capacity to lead is strongly determined by the kind of books you read. Grab a copy of Reverend Femi Akiola's books. Among his best-selling books include Owners and Beggars. In the pages of this book are principles that can guarantee success, speed, prosperity and real life if they are followed and practiced. Do you want to have an easy sail through life and achieve all your desires and goals without struggle? Then. This book answers all your questions. 
The Hunter and the Farmer. This mini book is loaded with wisdom which has made masters out of servants. It's a timely compendium of life truths with cutting edge insight that can help you overcome servitude and become the boss you aspire to be in life. Take back your throne. This is a spiritual therapy book written and packaged under the guide of the Holy Spirit to usher in deliverance of nations and individuals alike. It is a compilation of prayer missiles with the capacity to demolish satanic strongholds in your life. Grab your copy now and let the author lead you through on how to ascend your God-ordained throne in life. Money Rain This is a compilation of classic sermons on finance that will change your financial life forever. This masterpiece Money Rain will teach you how to become wealthy, create wealth and also control wealth. Releasing Stars in Bondage This book will deliver in your hands timely truths and insights that can help you break loose from the oppression of the taskmaster harassing your destiny. Your Greatness and Your Battles This book holds the potency to turn a victim to a victor. Your greatness and your battle is a product of a heart cry to help people lead victorious lives. In this book, you will discover different battles that surround your greatness and the divine strategies you can employ to guarantee your continuous winning in life. Devices. In it, you will discover many areas of life where the enemy seeks to gain control over your destiny, marriage, ministry and career and the medium through which he wants to galvanize such captivity. To order for any of these books, visit www.thehebrewsng.com or call 081-825-43422 or 0805-237-7861. Everything you will need to save your generation. Where is your hand? Where is your hand? Receive it in the name of Jesus Christ. Connect with God for a life full of testimonies as you join Reverend Femi Akeola in a session of undiluted prophetic moves and prayers in the next I Testify program. Every first Thursday of the month, venue, the Hebrews International Church, Okun Aja Junction by Abraham Adesanya Bus Stop, Leki Aja, Lagos. Time, 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. You shall testify. Thank you for watching Walking in Kingdom Secrets brought to you by the Hebrews International Church. For more information about Rev. Femi Akeola and his prophetic ministries, visit www.thehebrewsng.com or www.sanctuaryofwonders.org. Email femiakeola3 at gmail.com. Telephone 0806 721883 081 0889 5324 080 5237 7861. This is your time. God bless.